All right, Tay. Um, I think our uh, our kids played really hard. Um, I told our guys uh, at the end of the game, and uh, you know we're competitive now, and uh, you know these games are going to come down to two or three or four plays, and you never know when they're going to show up, and. Uh, We've got to work our tail off uh, to be able to push this uh, boulder over the hill and finish games. Um, we had a, a punt re uh, or a kickoff uh, return for a touchdown. We missed two opportunities to score touchdowns in the red, and um, and, I, and then they ran the ball. They won the won the rushing battle, and uh, it's a good football team. Um, you know their formula is really simple hit our quarterback, max blitz, run the football. And, uh, you know, our, I, I thought our kids played well versus still that, you know, we're, we still can't capitalize on those three to four things to finish. And uh, um, I don't like losing games. Our team doesn't like losing games, uh, but we are close. And uh, we need to, to push it over the top. And uh, we will. And, and we'll just keep working at it. and. Keep going at it. Season high rushing attack for you, Coach. What do you take from, from that, a good rushing performance? Yeah, we thought uh, this defensive front, you know, just like I said, we were overloaded in the box uh, every single play. Uh, we did some things uh, schematically to give us a chance, but all that stuff is all cool. You know, I thought our, our line blocked better, and I thought our backs ran fairly well. Um, so I'm happy with that. And, uh, you know, looking at the, uh, the stats, you know, in the past game, you know, you're playing a very similar to uh, what we used to play at Virginia Tech. You know, you're playing a zero coverage team. And we said, it, we said to win this game, what we had to do was make sure that number 85 didn't score a touchdown on, a, on, on special teams. We said that we had to uh, stop the run and defense. And we uh, said that we had to hit four to five uh, deep shots to win the game. And uh, whenever you evaluate where we were at, you know, we, we, did, we didn't stop 85. Uh, we didn't uh, stop the run. And then um, we missed some uh, or didn't take uh, full advantage of some shots that we had the ability to make a play. Um, but our kids are getting there. They're starting to figure things out. Uh, we're better. But uh, we're still uh, at the point where we're not making those four to five plays that come up um, that can uh, bite you in the tail. And that's, that's the moral of the story. You've got to be impressed with the toughness of this team. It seems like at times Northern was completely dictating the pace with the running game, and yet some of your guys dinged up and they still responded and still were in the game. That's, that's quite an achievement, too, to just battle through some of those, those tough times, especially mid-game, right? Yeah, I, I think our effort is uh, is great uh, on game day. Um, I thought we had the the best uh, focus walkthrough we've ever had today um, in the hotel. And uh, my message it keeps going to these guys. And I just met with uh, some of the leaders in there. We we got to get the leaders on the team to take over the locker room, and um, they will. You know, whenever whenever Coach Clawson flipped this thing. Um, they got uh, some older guys that, you know, changed the, changed the complexion of the locker room. We got good guys and all that. I'm just talking holding each other to the highest of highest standards because what's occurring is during the week, uh, there's still a good effort, but there's not elite effort. There's not elite urgency. And um, normally what has to happen with anybody is um, you've got to see – and uh, our guys have, trust me, over these last three weeks, they got to see that the four to five plays are critical. And the only way that you make, you overcome those four to five plays and give yourself a chance to make those four or five plays is elite in terms of practice, preparation, um, urgency, not being casual. Um, and uh, as soon as we get over that, and uh, we're going to win, we're going to win a lot of games here. Um, but, uh, you know, just like I said, we'll clean all that up in January and all that. But, hey, we're in the season here. And I said, hey, let's start this process now. And uh, I think our guys are tired of seeing 
um, four to five plays uh, dictate a game, and we need to be on the other other side of those four to five plays. What were your thoughts on the passing game? And sometimes maybe a couple missed throws or a couple drops, but then you have the the tip drill catch by Osborne that turns into a touchdown, a positive play for you. What were your thoughts? Yeah, there was uh, there was ample opportunities to uh, to finish out there. Um, just like you said, um, you know it's a it's a crazy scheme. They bring they they bring uh, you block seven, they bring eight, and uh, so you were you were playing a you know a very pressure defense. And uh, at times we did some really good things. At times we didn't, and uh, you know you were inches away on on the double move on uh, the two minute drill to to go and go for two and see what happens. But uh, um, you know we're going to look at this tape, and there's uh, there's a lot of things that uh, that you can see. If a um, couple drop balls, a couple missed throws, um, I didn't know Broden was out of the game. Um, the, the fade, uh, you know, he got hurt the play prior. We were, that that ball was supposed to go to Broden, um, the first one that we threw in the low red, and uh, so that's my fault. But uh, you know we're gonna just keep cleaning things up. Coaches are gonna get better. Players are gonna get better, and we're gonna get over the top. We will. It's a painful part of the process, though. Not to take anything away from Nate, four for four on field goals today. But at what point, kind of with that in mind, does those field goal drives turn into touchdown drives? Maybe not four field goals, but maybe you go two field goals, two touchdowns. <laughs> yeah, there's no doubt about it. I mean, that's what we need to do. Um, Going towards Nate, though, um, talking about, and I, and I brought him up in the team meeting, the, uh, the reason he's having success is every single day this guy approaches um, practice exactly like it's the game. He is a psychopath. He's locked in. He's intense. And he was never that way last year. He was passive. He was always overthinking. And... Uh, He's an aggressive, he's changed. And, uh, you know, it was kind of cool um, using him as an example. He's having great success because he's got urgency and everything matters to him. And uh, he's doing it in practice. Um, he approaches every single kick like he's trying to kick it to win the, the MAC championship. And, uh, you know, we're going to get our, our locker room to do that. Because they, they see it, they taste it, they're close to, to being able to get over the top, but that's what it's going to take. And, um, you know, Nate, I'm really proud of Nate. The drop by Jaded in the middle of the end zone, um, was he the primary read on that play, do you know? And, um, you know, just kind of talking about the growth of this team, do you feel like that's a play that gets made with some time and experience with your team? Oh, yeah. No question. There's a... Uh, We've been uh, working on that play because he's a big body. We we were you know Broden was out, but we were going to have you know three big bodies in there, and uh, the first read popped, which was Bro or uh, which was uh, McKinstry, and uh, Matt put the placement exactly where it needed to be, and uh, with time, weight room, <laughs> we're going to make that play, and uh, but. Uh, he ran a great route. He just needs to finish. I mean, there's a lot of that on tape right now. I mean, he ran a great route. Not a good route. I mean, detailed. The guy, it was an awesome route. He just didn't finish. And uh, he's going to learn to finish. And our team's going to learn to finish. But um, it's part of, the, part of the process. And I know people hate hearing it, but it's the truth. I mean, we're on schedule. I hate to say that we are on schedule. This Dave Clawson, he was dead right of, of how this is going to look. And uh, he said, you're going to be so close, year three. But uh, you need to then learn how to teach these guys to finish, get some leadership in your locker room, have urgency, make it that every single day is like playing for the MAC championship or playing against Toledo and having that mentality. We learn how to do that. We start winning these games. And uh, we will. We will.